guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 20 of Spy Classroom. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, my fucking nose. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Theo? It sounds like him. Excuse me.
And see, I understand that because he can't always watch them and such. So he needs them to kind of fly on their own. And plus, they've all been doing fine. So everything should be okay. Excuse me. Mm -mm. Damn, I mean, they let him grow his nails that long? Jesus. See, you say that, and then you don't say anything, and then he's gonna have to kill you. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, 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 okay. That's weird. All right. <laughs> Please move. <laughs> well, y yeah, yeah, let. Oh, my God. All right, this is a trap. Oh my god! Lily, we don't have the time! What?
Yeah, because it could blow up as soon as y'all stop. Right? That is a little weird. Oh! Hmm. And now we stop. <laughs> So, okay. Well, at least it didn't explode. <laughs> right? So, you know, why did you try? Well, Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, so let's go home. <laughs> Shouldn't she say? Uh, okay. Is right. Every appliance. Damn, Bubbo. Damn. Yeah. 
I get that, but I think something about that last one had to change it. Well, I mean, yeah, because it's supposed to be New York City. Excuse me. All you can do sometimes. I should not be sleepy. Oh my god, but I am. Ah! He looks so handsome. Is that supposed to be White Castle? Oh my god. <laughs> Good job, you two. The fish burgers. <laughs> oh, God. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, because that one dude, right? You may not be able to do it now, but she'll do it before the series is over. Because, I mean, we got, like, what, four more weeks left? I mean, I figured they were going to bring him, but damn. Look at his ass in a fucking closet. <laughs> Bruh. Okay. So now the biggest thing is they got to watch out for, you know, Purple Dio over here. Slowly but surely killing everybody one by one. But the fact that Thea is having this stump. She she's questioning everything. She's like, well, everyone else has their motives and they're good at what they're doing, yada, 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 and such. So why do I feel stuck? Why am I considered the weakling out of the group? Because at first, like, le okay, let's say it like this. So initially when this show started, all the way back in episode one, I thought she was going to be one of those who was like one of the strongest type characters. Her, her, Monica, and, um, I think it's Syl. Yeah, her, Monica, and Syl were, like, my top three of girls who were, like, the strongest. Then you had your second strongest and the kind of your weakest, but they just only needed problems to get fixed and stuff. Because I don't think anybody in this group is the weakest link overall. They all just have problems and such. And they all just have weeks or episodes just to figure those out and so for her I get it that being stuck that's pretty much with everybody in their you know the early years even into you know however age you are and wanting to find out what the fuck you want to do with your life and it's like am I really making the right choice and so now she's sitting here like well reminiscing and saying that you know her the person who she looked up to she was like i don't want you just to become a spy i want you to become a hero and so now with the episodes that we have left from 21 to 24 i think we're going to see that for her i think this is really initially where she's truly going to step up into her own which we've had seen in other episodes but because at the same time she has um not done the greatest because of course with um Aneto's quote-unquote fake mom and such and her being like very trustworthy of her and being like yes I can trust this woman with my life da -da 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 -da. like she seems very innocent this is the type where you're like yeah not looks can be deceiving not everybody is really trustworthy and such and so you clearly feel like that for her when she finds out oh Initially, she's just been manipulated by not one, but two different people. And, of course, she's like, damn, what the fuck am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to get through this? And it's going to be an initial, uh, initial, wrong word, interesting thing to see and how whatever the outcome is for her. I hope that within the last four episodes that we have with this show, four or three, um, 
that she is able to get out of this rut because of the fact is yeah she really doesn't know what she what her purpose is right now in the group being in new york city and being the one who is the quote-unquote boss of the whole group and such but she's not out there like on the field like everyone else is and so of course yeah she feels some type of way that's okay that's pretty much how everyone else feels in any other psh, stage of work where somebody you know is overtaking everyone else and you're like well damn if you're doing this then why am i here what the fuck is my purpose of being here if this x y and z is doing everything and it makes you feel some type of way and that's not really cool but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 20 of spy classroom if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all on thursday after work when i come home for episode 21 bye guys